What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is once again Legacy Kill HD back to do with another Call of Duty Ghost news and information video. We're also going to be going through some speculation and some theories. Uh, also, what you guys are seeing on your screen right now is some Black Ops 2 gameplay, obviously coming from the multi team game mode, and I believe we're playing Hardpoint. It's a fun game that I have, and I think I go like 76 and 7, but there are some boosters. Just wanted to note that, but I think I ended up getting killed by them a few times just because I was trying to take them out and try to end their little. Uh, they're boosting, but I, I do a decent job at that. Anyway, it's a decent game, not as competitive as I was hoping, but definitely a fun uh, time with some of my friends. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the gameplay. And one thing I do want to note, guys, I do have a second channel. I'm going to be uploading soon to it. I think I uploaded one video it's about the Xbox One, but I only have 46 subscribers in there. I want to get it up to like 100 or 200, so go subscribe to that. There should be an annotation on the screen and a link in the description, so check that channel out. That It is Legacy Killer TV. Anyway, guys, let's get down to the Call of Duty Ghost news, news and information. Okay, so one of my subscribers tipped me off about something that another YouTuber presented, and the YouTuber is Inside Game News. Shout out to him. There will be a link in the description so you guys can check him out. He also does a lot of Call of Duty Ghost uh, stuff, too. So what he said is apparently vehicles will play a huge role and actually what the youtuber said is that he had a source a leak source that presented some very interesting information but he said take it as a grain of salt because it's I guess gone through quite a few people already and obviously when it goes through quite a few people there's tends to be some uh, inaccuracies as to what the original uh, information was so this is what he said apparently vehicles will play a huge role it's been compared to Battlefield 3 system and the source claims you'll be able to use tanks choppers parachutes and jets in the game and uh, what he also said that it could be possibly just these vehicles could just be used for the dynamic intro for each map and that's actually what I was thinking you know maybe the dynamic intro this is how it could be like on one map you could see like a tank blow up a wall and the team enters in or maybe it could just be like a team like you could be playing on the other side of the team and they're just like defending and they just start running and then that's how it starts but that's definitely something that to consider um, just wanted to say that but I have a little bit of a theory going even deeper into this of how the kill streak system may work with these vehicles so let me guys tell you about this theory and I'll uh, I'll talk about it a little bit more in depth after I go through my notes here so there could be a built-in kill streak system for each map so basically there could be just uh, kill streaks that will fit the atmosphere and environment of the map so basically if you have like a sky map like the uh, free fall map where you're just like up inside a building there could be just kill streaks that fit that type of uh, a map and then there could be just certain types of kill streaks that work for like a map that's just like wasteland from MW2. So based on many rumors and sources we could be uh, seeing choices of type of kill streaks going back to MW3 system assault support and specialist possibly more than three types of streaks some designed for all kinds of players maybe even more than three maybe we'll see something like assault support specialist rusher sniper and etc. I'm not gonna go too into details with what we could see there but uh, this is an example I have for you guys so for example if you play on a huge map like MW2's map wasteland you could have the following so you could have like choices of all kinds of stuff but these are just two that I was thinking of maybe for assault you could have a predator missile a chopper and a tank and then for support you could have like UAV vest and advanced UAV something that fits that and maybe that every time there could be like a certain score or a certain amount of kills you have to get to get the hidden kill streak and maybe the hidden kill streaks varies like it could be some type of hidden kill streak that just is for support players and just something that is for assault players that would be definitely interesting if they could do something like that because if you guys do realize that Call of Duty has changed their kill streaks every every time every game has something different to their kill streaks different system like you remember Call of Duty 4 was uh, the first Call of Duty that really implemented that you know it had the 357 system maybe they're going back to their basics basically that's actually what I said so that was my little bit of a theory about that guys I would love to know what you guys think in the comments because I'm sorry because that was a lot of uh, information that I just threw out but th this is just something that's very complex that I think they could be doing and um, hopefully you guys do understand there will be uh, script notes so you guys can read through it and maybe get a better understanding of what I was talking about that's always in the description if you guys didn't know that anyway guys like I said before hopefully uh, you did enjoy and hopefully you will comment and tell me what your thoughts are and like the video if you can because Chuck Norris told you to and also one thing to note I will be having a channel redesign coming from a really popular graphics designer named Rated um, just want to let you guys know that so hopefully you'll be able to check that out soon whenever he gets his work done I think that should be a day or two but uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy and I am out